If you didn't know, I have had two great loves in my life, doing what I do here and the real estate business. I love real estate. Mom and dad were in the real estate business when I was growing up, and three weeks after I turned 18 years old, I sat for and passed my real estate license. A few weeks later, I sold my first house as a real estate agent. What that tells you is somebody out there had a lack of judgment. They bought a house from an 18-year-old. But, <laughs> but even then, I knew how to sell, apparently, at some level. So, you know, I've always loved real estate. I, I love the business. I love the people in the business. It's a, new, it's a unique group of individuals. The real estate business is the only business where people put glamour shots on their business card. I mean, it, it, these are drama queens. They have a blast. Real estate people are fun. The, 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 when they're at an event, they're, the, it's a fun group to talk to because they're enthusiastic. They're fired up. They're, they're, it's just cool. And so I always enjoy sending great real estate agents across America and our ELP program, you know, sending you to them to find your next home or to, you know, get your house listed and get it sold for the proper amount of money, not giving it away, especially in a hot market like this. And so I, I just love the business. And then, you know, some folks in that business don't like me because I tell people not to buy a house until you're ready. Because when people buy a house when they're broke, it makes them broker. That's why they call them mortgage brokers. Broker and broker. When you buy a house, you're broke, you're not ready. It's a curse. It's not a blessing. I want your home to be a blessing. But we've passed this piece of misinformation around in our culture that says, everyone ought to buy a house, and if you buy a house, it's going to make all your financial problems go away. The only way the little man can get ahead is buy a house he can't afford. She's a bunch of crap. You shouldn't buy a house when you're broke. So I want everybody to get a house because I want everybody to get out of being broke. But when you buy a house and you're broke, all kinds of crap lo turns loose in your life. When you're in debt, you don't have any money. You use your last dime for your down payment. But you buy a house, buy a house, buy a house, buy a house. Got to buy a house, got to buy a house, got to buy a house, got to buy a house. If you don't buy a house, oh, renting, you're just throwing your money away. Buy a house, buy a house, buy a house, buy a house, buy a house. Oh, the payment's the same as the rent. So buy a house, buy a house, buy a house, buy a house, buy a house. And everybody goes and buys a house they can't afford. And if enough broke people buy houses, you can crash the economy. You all know that? That was a reference to 2008. That was a 2008 joke. Are you all with me here? If enough broke people buy a house, you can crash the economy with this wrong philosophy of everybody needs a house. Everybody should get a house because I want everybody to get away from being broke so they can afford a house. So get out of debt. Get your emergency fund in place. But if you buy a house and you don't do that, Murphy will move in your spare bedroom. If you're in debt. You buy a house broke, he'll move in your spare bedroom. You know who Murphy is. If it can go wrong, it will. He'll bring his three cousins, broke, desperate, and stupid, with him. And your hot water will go out the next week, and your roof will leak three days later. And then the heat and air will go down. Oh, and the sewer will stop up, or the septic tank will back up. I mean, you're going to find out the joys of home ownership when you move in a house broke. You are asking for trouble. You're begging for it. So get yourself straight, get out of debt, get the emergency fund in place, and then start saving for your down payment. We call that baby step 3B because you're after baby step 3, and you haven't yet started baby step 4 with your retirement savings because you're going to save up for your down payment on your house. And then when you get ready to buy a house, you want to put as much down as you can put down. If you put down 20%, it'd be ideal because you can avoid PMI, private mortgage insurance, which is merely foreclosure insurance that if you get foreclosed on, it pays the mortgage company if they lose money on you. If you put down 20%, you don't have to buy PMI, which is useless to you. It's a favor you do the insure, you do for the mortgage company because you didn't put down enough down payment. If you put down 20%, you avoid that. And it's about $75 a month per 100000 borrowed. So 150 bucks a month for a $200,000 mortgage for your PMI. So i like for you to put down more than that. I don't yell at you if you don't, but I will yell at you if you violate this next one. Never buy a house on more than a 15-year mortgage. Absolutely crazy. Don't do that. Don't do it. Don't buy a house on more than a 15-year mortgage, and never buy a house on a 15-year fixed rate where the payment is more than a fourth of your take-home pay. Now, you got to keep in mind, interest rates are what, 3%? You know, most of the time, interest rates have been 10%, 12% in my working lifetime. 
But for the last decade or so, we've had these ridiculously, wonderfully low interest rates. And so, you know, if you can't afford to do it right now, you're not going to be able to afford to do it right ever. So right is, you know, 15 to 20% down, hopefully, a 15-year fix where the payment's no more than a fourth of your take-home pay. So if you're in the market to buy a house, you don't buy your largest purchase in the scope of your lifetime on emotion. Yeah, that's the last thing you need to impulse is something this size. Adults devise a plan and follow it. Children do what feels good. Be a grown-up. If you're going to be a grown-up and buy a house, be a grown-up emotionally. Slow down. Do it right. And jump on DaveRamsey.com. we got a free, completely free mortgage calculator there. You want to do your mortgage calculations? It's right there. We just revamped the thing. It's slick. It's the best one out there. As a matter of fact, it's trending as one of the best mortgage calculators on Google right now. So just go to DaveRamsey.com, click on the mortgage calculator, and you can figure out what you can do with the private mortgage insurance on a $200,000 home, how much it saves you, a few other things to keep in mind in the home buying process in a hot market. You may need to move further out of the city in order to get a price you can afford. So you may be training home ownership for a commute. Closer to the city in most markets, the more expensive it gets. Now, a certain distance from the city, so that starts to become a neighborhood issue. But I'm saying if you move 30 minutes out of town, the county over, those are sometimes called bedroom communities then that puts you in a place to do a, the right kind of stuff. And if you'll get a high-octane real estate agent, they will help you with your selection. They'll represent you as a buyer's agent. Or if you're getting ready to sell a house, get a real estate agent in your corner that knows what they're doing. And this is someone that has a lot of volume. They sell 50, 200 houses a year, not 50, 200 th houses in their lifetime. So do this right I mean, if you make a 5% mistake on a $200,000 transaction, that's a $10,000 ouchie because you were so smart you could do it yourself. You don't work on your $20,000 car by yourself. Why would you work on your $200,000 house by yourself? Kind of dumb. So get a pro in your corner. Our real estate ELPs are the pros we recommend. Just click on DaveRamsey.com. Run to DaveRamsey.com. Get your mortgage calculator. This is a great real estate market, you guys. It's a fun time to be selling, a fun time to be looking for properties. Real estate's just fun, y'all. It's just fun. But it's not fun when you're broke and you do it wrong. So do it right, and we will enjoy the ride together. This is the Dave Ramsey Show.